Whatever you think of Australia's corporate watchdog, ASIC, the Australian Securities and Investments Commission, there's one thing that you can't accuse them of — wasting taxpayers' money. Unless you think that spending a wad of taxpayer cash on updating their logo is a waste of money. Let's take a look at their old logo. Yeah, it looks okay. The Australian coat of arms. A black diamond with blue rectangles inside it. ASIC written in bold with its full name written below. It's a work of art. Apparently this logo has been in use for over 20 years. Now let's take a look at their new logo. The Australian coat of arms. A black diamond with blue rectangles inside it. ASIC written in bold with the full name written below. It's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Only two minor changes, really. The name has been moved to the right of the diamond, and the font has been changed to Sans Serif. It's a work of art as well. Yeah, the new logo looks a little bit nicer. Yeah, it will fit better at the top of web pages. But this little piece of artistic genius has cost the Australian taxpayer about $100,000. How was that money spent? Let's break it down. ASIC told the designers that it wanted a bold new look. It wanted to be seen as respected and having its finger on the pulse. It also told the designers that it didn't want to be seen as having its finger up its ass. Apparently, having your finger up your ass interferes with efficiency. According to ASIC's website, its vision is to have a fair, strong and efficient financial system for all Australians. That's a bold statement that needs a bold logo to back it up. So how was the $100,000 spent? ASIC worked with inner Sydney design firm Folk. The creative development of the logo came in at a touch over $43,000, excluding GST. Design and asset development cost almost $60,000, which included new stationery templates, banners, and its online homepage. A web design update cost just under $3,000. Man, I should get into logo design. Should ASIC, our corporate regulator, be spending $100,000 on a new logo, when instead it could have used that money to employ a new investigator to focus on our rotten banking system or go after corrupt mortgage brokers? ASIC's Matthew Abbott, Senior Executive Leader of Corporate Affairs, stated, We are introducing the changes gradually as stationery is exhausted and other materials such as signs and banners are replaced. The existing brand and font had not been changed in over 20 years and was not always suitable for use in digital channels such as social media and online. ASIC insisted it was trying to save taxpayers' money during the logo-changing process. I'll tell you what, I could have saved them a lot of money. Go to the website Fiverr. They do professional business logos for like 30 bucks. But then again, if ASIC did that, I'm sure the media would have had a field day. I can imagine the headlines now. ASIC spends $30 on new logo design using freelance website Fiverr. Taxpayers outraged. Ah, uh, government departments. They can never win.